Welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate. We're playing the card game. We're playing with Grace. We're playing with uh, Danny. We're trying to take on the fully healed endoskeleton. We're getting a little bit beaten up. We're running away a lot. We need to gear up somehow. All right, Grace goes first. Close call. She got a prep, a wound. Swift. Well, she's going to... Uh, if we take a rest action, we get rid of the wound, but we can't play Swift then. Two... Yeah, you know, um, she's going to hang on to the wound. We're going to play Swift the Skill. When fleeing, you may instead shuffle, choose to shuffle the Terminator in the top five cards of the deck. So if we do a little bit of damage to it, we can shuffle in with five. So that skill goes beside her character. That's a skill available now for the rest of the game. And she will then have uh, two resources as I throw cards on the ground. She's going to go ahead and get a pistol. And you may uh, add this card to the top of your deck when you gain it. She's going to go ahead and do that. Why not? Putting it right on top of her deck. All right, that's the end of her doing everything. She's still got that wound, though, which is not fantastic. All right, one, two, five cards. So she's got a pistol, of course, the prep. We have to shuffle her uh, discard and drop three more cards. Let's see what she gets. All right, let's see. One, two, three. And... She has a wound and a couple of preps. So she's got three preps, a pistol, and a wound. And this is discard a card. Probably discard the wound. All right, that's it. Yes, we have at least four cards in the tableau. I did rearrange things a little bit here so I can get more cards uh, in the screen here. I think I can move that over too, to here. Because we're probably because the tableau can have any number of cards in it. There's no limit to that. All right. We have at least four, but we do need to draw one. And we draw, yes, the lovely endoskeleton. Ooh, it is attack time for him. Now, did we have defense? No. Did Danny have defense? Danny does have a defense. Destroy this card and draw two cards. So she could defend one attack if she wants to against the and defenses can be played in any player's turn as well and I, like i mentioned before too when you purchase a card you can put it in any player's discard pile you don't have to put it in your own all right the endo five cards it will be attacking grace card number one attack wound the current player um <laughs> this is just not good you know what we are going to go ahead and use this defense card that danny has because it can be played on anybody's turn and the defense card, so we just ignore what happened with the attack. Destroy this card and draw two cards. So Danny gets to destroy this card, it's out of the game, and she gets to draw two cards. So that's, I guess, something. So the two cards she gets to draw is a prep and another prep. All right, that was card number one attack against uh, uh, Grace. Second one, holy God. If a player has three wounds, three wounds in their discard pile, they die. Nobody has a discard pile. So, yep, that's good. So that was card number two. Wow, the attacks are coming out. Card number three is discarded. Card number four, destroyed. And card number five is a location. Firing range. Each player may destroy up to two starter cards in their hand or discard pile. That goes to the bottom of the deck. Attacks and locations go to the bottom. All right, Grace didn't take a wound there because of the defense playing from Danny. That's all good, but we do now have the Terminator out here. I don't think Danny has any attack, does she? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be bad. All right, that's the end of Grace's turn. Over we go to Danny. Oh yeah, this is going to this going to hurt. She's got one, two. She's got three. She has three. Ah, oh, not four for the rifle. I think she's just going to... Oh, man. She's going to go ahead, take a rest action, and destroy a wound. And that's it. That sounds bad, but you. she's probably going to get more wounds. One, two, three, four, five. And does Grace... Okay, she's got tough prep. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Did Danny have a defense? She doesn't. Or Grace. Oh man, no defense whatsoever. We do need to draw one card though. Even though we are fully loaded up here. And, oh good lord. Oh, you immediately flee the Rev-9. That's actually a beneficial card for us. Now, 
there's no damage on it so it's going right back to the top of the deck but at least we don't take any more hits from it uh, which means we're not going to get any wounds and that's the end of Danny's turn and over we go now to Grace oh man it's just continuously running away from this thing okay um uh, she's got three purchase and a wound I wonder if she should just burn that wound to get rid of it get rid of it uh, with three she can get the skill this skill she can get the resources you know what this is sounding bad but she's gonna go ahead take a rest action and destroy that wound I know not doing much but we got to get the wounds out of there one two three four five cards whoops for her next hand as I throw them all over the place um, what does she get for her next hand she got a high explosive grenade augments close call a couple preps Ooh, yeah I don't know and the skill that she had wait a second was that Danny's turn that she got attacked uh, no it was uh, oh it was Grace's turn so unfortunately it attacked Danny Danny didn't have that. I gotta remember that swift ability for Grace all right well that's it for um, Although it had no damage, so that wouldn't have mattered, I don't think, unless that card drove it. Well, that's basically Grace's turn. We're drawing a card. We know what it is. It's the Rev 9, and we're looking at now five attack cards, and we've got, of course... Oh, she's got her defense. She does have her defense. We'll keep that face up. All right, Grace getting attacked. Five cards. First card, grab bag. Destroyed. Second card, uh, finishing move, destroyed. Third card, destroyed. Fourth card is an attack, going in for the kill. If the player has three wounds in their discard pile, they die. We're going to take that as the fourth card. Uh, we're not going to block it with a defense, because nobody has a discard pile. Actually, Grace does, but she doesn't have three in there. And the final card attack is cash, destroyed. Okay, it wasn't absolutely horrible uh, and she didn't need to use close call all right back we go let's have a danny take a turn all right i don't know what danny's got she's got tough she's got well she's going to play her tough skill down when counting wounds in your hand or discard pile count a total is one less boom there we go she's going to play her resolve card which is the current player may discard any number of cards from their hand and then draw an equal number. So she's going to play that. That gives her the ability to do two wounds to the endo. And she's going to discard her setback card and draw one card, which is a finishing move. Um, cool. So she's going to play finishing move. That gives two more damage. Why wouldn't she? Two more damage. And she still has up to four now. She still has... Um, two resources she can spend she's going to spend one on the supply that gives her two i don't know if she wants to spend one on wheels does she want to spend you know what she'll oh man she wanted to spend the one on the wheels yeah let's go ahead and spend the one on the wheels all right and that's the end of her hand she's got no draw pile she's going to Shuffle up all of her cards, draw five new cards, and then we have a decision to make. Do we run, flee, or do we let the endo fight? And that's a very good question. Very good question indeed. Um, one, two, three, four, five cards for Danny's next turn. So it's going to be uh, wheels, resolve, prep, prep, and finishing move. Mm. All right. Uh, actually, I've got to make a decision here. We do have the close call. Um, I have a feeling we got four damage on it. I think we're going to let it attack Danny. And of course, my battery's dying, uh, as, it, as it would right now. We do need to draw a card, though. Um, we draw a card, and then we decide whether we want to flee. So we're drawing an attack. Okay, so we draw an attack. We are... Oh, man uh now we know oh i don't know i gotta come right back change my battery we gotta decide if we're fleeing or we're gonna let the endo attack us 
Okay, I think the prudent move with this attack out here, we're going to flee. So it's got four damage on it. And with the four damage on it, it is going to be, we're going to flee away from it. One, two, three, we take the top four cards, one for each damage. And we shuffle the endo in there. And away we go. Um, I don't like that attack card sitting out there. I kind of want to get rid of that before we have to deal with the endo again. Now we could have used the defense on it, but then it would be drawing four more cards. And we kind of want to run away from it if we can. All right, I've shuffled enough. That's going to go on the top of the deck. And I think for today, running out of time a little bit, we're going to end it off there. So Danny's hand for next time is looking pretty good. She can play that on Grace's turn as well. Grace has got high explosive grenade. We're probably going to use that to get rid of that attack. I don't know if she's going to play this one because that ends up giving her a wound if she has a wound. And I think she has a wound left. And I think it's the only card she's going to be drawing. So she'd end up with two wounds. We don't really want that. All right. That's going to be the end of our playthrough for today. So we're playing Terminator Dark Fate, the card game. And we have got uh, Grace and Danny on the run. We're trying to gear up to do some major league damage. We need a nice location out here, maybe, that would crush the endo. It's got 30 health, though. <laughs> so if we do 30 health to it, it's destroyed. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. So thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow for the continuation, and uh, we'll go from there.